Inertia is a universal motion simulator. By controlling the rate of motion and the momentum, the tendency to keep moving in the same direction, inertia creates envelopes, VCOs, and LFOs, limits the slew rate of other signals, and alters audio as a complex resonant filter or a phase-locked frequency divider. And all that is just the beginning of its possibilities. Inertia has separate control over the rise and fall rate of motion. This patch has a square wave input into an inertia, controlling a second inertia which is set up as a filter. The rise rate slows down the rising edge, the fall rate the falling edge. If we add a little rise momentum, the output overshoots the input. Same with fall momentum. At a certain point, we start to get damped oscillation. This is useful at audio rates for creating drum sounds. All the way up, we have full self-oscillation, and we have an LFO. If we send the square wave to the trigger input instead, on every rising edge, inertia will act like it has 5 volts on the input until the output reaches 5 volts. Useful for creating attack release envelopes. Inertia has two outputs, first and second order. The second order output lags behind the first order output, just like the first order output lags behind the input. At lower rates, this gives you a phase delayed envelope, or LFO. When used as a filter, the first order gives low pass plus band pass, while the second order just gives the low pass signal. In addition to the rise-fall interface, inertia provides a second interface to these same parameters, skew mode. In skew mode, you control the overall rate, and then the skew between rise and fall rates. Same with momentum. You control the overall momentum, and then the difference between rise and fall momentum. There are CV inputs with attenuators to control all of these parameters, and the functionality of the CV is also determined by the interface switch. Inertia has a range switch and works just as well at audio rate. It has a temperature compensated volt per octave input and tracks five octaves. In skew mode, skewing the waveform is relatively frequency stable and can be used as a component of sound design. With audio input, inertia can be used as a unique and powerful filter, where rate controls the cutoff frequency, and momentum the resonance. It goes far beyond the typical filter though, with control over the skew of the resonant frequency, as well as the skew of the resonance itself. giving multiple dimensions of sonic sculpting. With resonance at or near self-oscillation, 
inertia will synchronize with harmonics and subharmonics of the input signal, functioning as a frequency divider. Inertia is a deep module, and I'll be releasing more videos exploring its possibilities in the coming weeks.